Welcome to Awesome Code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to use PE file library in Python. The PE file library is very useful for analyzing Windows executable files. You can use it for static malware analysis or if you are looking for possible indication of compromise or the presence of malicious code in executable. exe file dot dll libraries and dot sys device drivers can be used with this library and they all follow the e file format specification. First I'm going to install it by using pip on our system. I will type pip install the file and enter. I have pip3 installed, so I use pip3, pip3 install the file. It is installed now. Clear the screen, and I'm going to download a .exe file to my system. I will go for Putty. I will search it on uh, Google and download to our system, and then we'll use with this library. I can do a search for Putty at Google. I will go to this link over here. And we'll go to the latest version. Just click there, double. And we can scroll down a bit. I will just copy one of this link. Copy. Okay. Like version, and I will use wget to download this file, or I can just download from here too. So I'll click this. And I will select the save file. Okay. And now I can go to the download folder. And it's in our download folder. So I'm going to use terminal to write a simple script. And from there, I'm just going to give the path to this putty.exe. I save this file as a p file demo.py in my editor and I'm going to import post import p file and then I'm going to give it a name putty and then use p files.p and pass in the path and name of our Putty.exe file a program and then I will just uh, print the object. I will use pprint module to print this object in a readable format. P Print and then I need to pass it. DIR and then our putty. Let's save it. 
this is PE, not PF. See it? I also need to import P print module over here to add for this line. Import P print. The P print module provides a capability to pre print arbitrary Python data structure in a form which can be used as input to the interface. And now we can just run our script. And you can see the output over here. This printed all the list in a readable format. Hold the scroll up so you can see all this information. We can also print file header for number of sections, and I'm just going to comment this one over here. If you want to print out the DLL characteristics, you can do that too. We'll print that one also. DLL and then party dot optional header dot DLL. DLL dynamic linking libraries. I'm just going to use dynamic just to make it short and then passing DLL. And just need to save it. This one is a teacher, so I need to convert it into string to concatenate this one. I will use a string function and pause in our descent value string. And I also need to do the same with this DL. And now we can run our script and see the output. And you can see the information printed over here for libraries and number of sections. 
and let's see if we can get major image version I'm going to add one more line over here and name it war and this will be our putty putty dot optional header major image version and just over here print it out use print And here is the output. So this PE file is very useful if you want to perform some forensic on exe files, DLL and .sys. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Asimco. Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.